Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. Going to do this one out in the garden and it's such a nice spring day, it seems a shame to be indoors. So we've got a new little model steam engine sent in from Engine DIY Shop or EngineDIY.com and I've only seen the pictures of this, I've not actually had this out of the box yet, but it's absolutely tiny from what I've seen. So straight into the box, yeah, quite nicely packed. Have some packing foam there to make sure that everything uh, arrives in good order. It's quite windy in the garden today, so hopefully uh, you can hear me. Now, when I first saw this on the website, other than the size of the model, the first thing that struck me is that it is extremely well made. Everything is made out of brass. There's no plastic anything like that really is a nice model and there it is oh wow look at that I mean the first thing it is absolutely tiny it really is a nice thing to own isn't it very very nicely made so as we can see it's got a pivot beam here it is a beam a beam engine single action just a single action piston there in the block and a tiny little spool valve there to regulate the steam pressure. It does have a solid brass flywheel, tiny, 29 millimetres in diameter. There is a runoff, there is a little groove cut into the spindle there. I don't know if you want it to run an auxiliary unit via a belt. I don't know how much power this is going to have. I don't think it's going to be particularly powerful, to be honest. Tiny, tiny little boiler, just 12 millilitres uh, of water is the recommend fill. You fill it up via this removable safety valve. All engines you buy in the UK must have a safety valve. I've had some comments and people saying, oh, how, how do you fill it up? Well, it's, it's quite easy. Literally, fill it up and then just squirt the water in. I'll be using a syringe and I'll probably put 10 ml of water into the boiler and that should give me approximately eight minutes, eight minutes run time. As far as the fuel goes, you get a little solid brass tray here. Um, I'm going to be using the wax tablets. I've probably got some old Mamod tablets, but you can get those from camping shops and things. They're for starting campfires. You can also get a kind of a, a white spirit type gel, which you could use. I find that a little bit messy, but that's quite easily available from camp shops. I'm not I don't think this is going to take a lot, a lot to heat up though. I think it's going to heat up quite quickly. But yeah, no, it's really, really nice. The quality is much better than I thought it would be for this money, to be perfectly honest. And uh, just looking on the support here for the beam, there's even a little bit of finishing where they've um, dremeled it, I suppose, or routed it or whatever you want to call it. So it's got a nice kind of finish to it. I don't know if that's coming out on camera in the sunshine. But uh, yeah, fits on the palm of your hand. What a lovely little model, mate. Would make a really nice gift to introduce someone to steam. So I think what I need to do now is we need to get some fuel. We need to oil everything because, of course, it will need lubrication. And uh, then we'll fire it up and see what it runs like. It's going to run very quickly, of course, because there's no regulator or an, there's no throttle or no, no regulation valve from the steam coming out of the boiler. So it's, it's going to run flat out for its six to eight minutes, however long it runs for. Brilliant. Can't wait to run it. Going to run the engine for the first time. There's a few things that you're going to need, obviously. Firstly, when you need fuel to put in the little tray. I'm going to be using these waxed fuel tablets. These are the original Mammoth tablets. I was really fortunate. I bought a second-hand engine and they supplied a box of uh, old tablets and they work absolutely fine. This is a modern equivalent. I got these from a, off a camping shop online. Again, waxed fuel tablets used for campfires and things. These are no longer sold, unfortunately. When it comes to filling the boiler, um, do not, do not, do not just put plain tap water in the boiler because you're going to foul up the piston and all of the spool valves very, very quickly. I'm using this car plan deionized water, extremely cheap on Amazon. I think this large 2.5 litre bottle was, I don't know, something silly like um, £2.80 delivered or something. You can get away with using rainwater 
it's a good idea to filter it first to remove any sediment but as long as you don't use tap water you'll be absolutely fine and then when it comes to the moving parts you just need to apply a small amount of oil i like this super oil by singer again this was about five or six pounds off amazon and it lasts a long long time i mean you can use any type of oil even a vegetable oil just on the moving parts better to oil it than run it dry right so there we go when it comes to filling the boiler as i mentioned i think they recommend about 12 millilitres of water so it's very very small i'm going to use a syringe so i don't overfill it i might put in just slightly more than that otherwise you'd have to uh, use a funnel or something it's, it's a quite a small aperture so a syringe is ideal right i'll speed it all up and then we can run it for the first time Wow, look at it go. I'm going to say, although it runs really, really fast, there's no way to slow it down. It runs really smooth. Flywheel whizzing round there. Losing a little bit of pressure now. There we go, the, the fuel actually ran out before all of the steam came out of the boiler but you don't want to uh, run it dry but it run really really nice very very smooth and uh, it was quite nice when it slowed down as well so there you go what a lovely little thing something that you probably would have liked to have owned when you was a child but uh, for a lot of kids a bit like myself these these were kind of out of reach these were quite expensive toys and there it is. This came in from EngineDIY.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out further. But as for now, I'd like to say cheers. Thank you for tuning into my videos. I do have other steam engine videos if you take a look on the channel. Some a bit more complicated, a little bit more pricey than this one. You might want to check them out. But as for now. As always, thumbs up from Freddie in the Shed. Thanks for your view time. Do appreciate you dropping by. Please, please, please look after each other. Stay safe, of course. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.